nurses i'm going to give you tips and the nursing mnemonics yes nursing mnemonics nga po ang alay ko sa inyo ngayon ng iyong cardiac tamponade if you want to learn more about that stay tuned Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Neil Gavin. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create nursing educational content to help nursing students with their studies. If that's something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you're already a subscriber though, thank you so much for your love and support. I see you. I upload my nursing educational content two to three times in a week. Don't miss that out. Subscribe now. Hit the notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that will really help me know that you like to see more contents like this. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. We are going to have discussion about the clinical manifestation of your cardiac tamponade. This is another playlist on my channel where I give you nursing mnemonics and nursing tips on how are you going to easily remember the um, nurse, the broad and very overwhelming nursing topics. I know, I know how hard it is to remember all those signs, manifestations, all those you know intervention or whatnot don't worry because i will make your life easier for today nga, i'm going to discuss the clinical manifestation of your cardiac tamponade in order for me to do that i will switch back to my pc and i'll see you guys in a bit hi everybody welcome nga sa ating formal discussion ng yung cardiac tam Panad. Yes, this is another nursing mnemonics and tips. Nursing guide sa lahat ng mga, you know, nag-aaral dyan. Kung nakakalimutan mo na ang manifestations ng cardiac tamponade, balik-balikan mo lang tong video na to para hindi mo ma- Kalimutan, okay? Now, this is another series on my channel where I create nursing mnemonics and tips to help all the nursing students and all the nurses out there to remember the concepts of nursing, some of the concepts in nursing, because I know that it could be really TMI, you know, nakaka too much information at nakaka overwhelmed. So, nursing mnemonics is really, really helpful for us to remember, you know, the broad concept of nursing. For today, we're going to talk about cardiac tamponade. Let me share to you our objective for today. We're going to discuss about the three Ds of cardiac tamponade or yung tinatawag nating Bex triad. That's our main focus for today. I want you to remember this concept. At the end of this video, you'll be able to remember the manifestations of your cardiac tamponade. Okay, let's proceed. Let's do this. Okay. Now, let me give you an overview about cardiac tamponade. In cardiac tamponade, blood or fluid collects in the pericardium. Ano ba yung pericardium? Yung pericardium po, ito, ito yung sac o yung membrane na nagpoprotekta sa ating heart. Ito po yung pericardium natin, no? This is um, uh, a, an image, an illustration on what does um, cardiac tamponade looks like. If you can see, sa heart kasi natin, meron tayong membrane dyan na tinatawag na nating pericardium. This one protects our heart, okay? Na ang nangyayari sa cardiac tamponade is that there is an abnormal accumulation of fluids dito sa sac na ito. Parang basos pakinggan, pero yon sa sak na ito. So, ano nangyayari? Lumiliit yung space ng heart natin to pump blood. Hindi siya nakaka-function ng maayos. Pericardial fluid may accumulate slowly without causing any noticeable symptoms until a large amount accumulates. However, rapidly developing effusion can stretch the pericardium to its maximum size and because of increased pericardial pressure, reduce venous return to the heart and decrease carbon dioxide. It often has three characteristic signs that the physician will recognize during a physical examination. Yes, physical examination nga po ang main focus ng iyong Bex triad. Okay, ito na ang ating Bex triad or the 3Ds. Pag sinabing Bex triad, 3Ds. Bex triad, 3Ds. Paano mo ba mas malalong maaalala ang concept ng iyong cardiac tamponade? Okay, so meron ka ng idea, may picture ka na ng cardiac tamponade. Ano-ano kaya yung 3Ds na yon? Ito po siya. First, you have your distant or muffled heart sounds. Yes, muffled siya kasi may fluid dito. 
remember, ang normal na heart sound natin is strong and consistent. Lub-dub, lub-dub, ganyan. Muffled siya kasi may fluids, meaning, yung kapag inoscultate mo siya, hindi nakaka-go through yung mga sound waves, kaya nagkakaroon siya ng muffling sound, yung parang may nakabalot sa kanya or something like that. Next, you have your distended jugular veins. That's your second D. The last one is decreased pulse pressure. All right. Once again, you guys, this is the concept, the three Ds of your cardiac tamponade. Few reminders, you guys, in cardiac tamponade nga, blood or fluid collects in the pericardium, the suck surrounding the heart. Pericardial fluid may accumulate slowly without causing any noticeable symptoms until a large amount accumulates. However, a rapidly developing effusion can stretch the pericardium to its maximum size and because of increased pericardial pressure, Pressure, reduce venous return to the heart and decrease carbon dioxide. I also want you to remember that it often has three characteristic signs that the physician will recognize during physical examination. Di ba lahat naman ito you can see physically? Okay, i-brush up lang natin ng very very quick cardiac tamponade. Itong picture na to ang gusto ko mong maalala mo. May tubig doon sa pericardium, doon sa sac na nagpoprotekta sa ating heart. Okay, initially hindi siya gaano manonotice yung effects pero kapag nagkaroon ng too much o dumating na sa point na too much na yung fluid accumulation sa ating pericardium, that's the time that you will know is the three D's. What are your three D's? You have distant or muffled heart sounds, distended jugular veins, D, decreased pulse pressure. Once again, this is your cardiac tamponade, nursing mnemonics, and tips. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I hope you learned something. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational videos. If you haven't watched the other um, nursing mnemonics, tips and other nursing videos i created for you please make sure that you check that out i'll be putting it on the description box or simply check my channel it's all right there for you all right let me know if you have other nursing topics that you want us to do comment down below and then give this video a big thumbs up okay and you guys help me grow my channel um i want you to spread the news help me out because i'm really planning to create more nursing educational content for all of you guys i want to thank you for all your love and support and i will see you guys again next time you stay safe thank you so much you guys for watching hope you enjoyed this one help me grow my channel you're ready here you might as well subscribe hashtag team cool talk give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends let me know what you guys think put them down in the comment section below also don't forget to check out the other playlists i created for you by putting the links on the description box you simply click this icon button right here let's connect follow me on my other social media accounts everything is at neil gabe i'll see you again baby